Hello, good afternoon. So today I will uh, show on how to use uh, the USGS to obtain um, earthquake uh, catalog that will give us uh, values of estimated earthquake parameters such as uh, peak ground acceleration, peak ground velocity, and peak ground deformation. So the purpose of uh, having this information is whenever we want to benchmark a structure that was subjected to this known earthquake, and we want to do a performance assessment of this structure based on this estimated earthquake records. Now we can do that by going to the website of USGS and you go to this what we call a search catalog box here. Now in the search catalog box um, you'll see here that uh, you have an option which type of earthquakes you want to see and in terms of the magnitude the date and their geographic region. Similarly, there's an option here where you can um, actually sort the earthquake records based on their depth, azimuthal gap, and other information. Now, other information that are listed here is if you want the output to be in terms of map or list or you can also have it in terms of csv file now what is important here is that um, using this app we can actually sort the earthquake magnitude let's say from 6.0 to 8.0 or 9.0 and we want to determine the earthquakes that have magnitude 6 to 9, which occurred from 1940, say for example, up to 2020. Now for the location, you can actually click the draw rectangular line here and then use this uh, menu on this part wherein you can draw a triangle on the map so this is the map of the philippines and let's say i want to assess the earthquakes that occurred in central luzon or in basically in the island of luzon that may probably uh, impacted the area of manila so you click this one double click and you create a rectangle and once you create this it will now give you all the earthquake records that are within this rectangle and then you just click use region and let's say we want to see the output in terms of map and then we just click search now of course there would be a lot of records okay and the records are given, oh, if, I, if I go back to that records, the output, in terms of output, the records can also be given in terms of, um, see this one, in terms of, in the order of the largest magnitude to the smallest magnitude, or it can be also the latest earthquake or the oldest earthquake that have occurred in that region so if we click search then it could give us the list of earthquake so it says loading earthquake and i think I need to go back to draw the uh, rectangle so i would like to focus more just within the metro manila area then use that region, search. So you'll see that there would be less earthquake in that region. And these are all those earthquakes from 1940 
up to the present in the order of decreasing magnitude. Okay, so this one is the highest earthquake magnitude. So you can now click on this one. And this is a 7.5 earthquake that occurred in 1972, April uh, 25, 1972. And this is the map. Now, if you click this map here, now it gives you a, um, a contour. Now, the contour values can be uh, modified using this menu here. So that's the epicenter. Now, the, these contours that we are uh, looking at are actually seismic intensity in Mercalli scale. Now, we can change that to show the PGA values instead approximated, the contours of PGA values. And you can see that the PGA values are given in terms of 50%, 70%, 30%. So what it tells us is using this information, we can somehow approximate what is the intensity that happened to this site, for example. So given this earthquake record. And with that information, we can use that information to actually assess the performance of that building on that given earthquake with this estimated PGA value. And using that information, we can then perform performance assessment, which we can use for benchmarking existing structures. So there are several other options where we can show the peak ground velocity as well. Uh, if you click peak ground velocity, and these are the values. So again, this is a very, very useful tool. And there's a information about how shake map actually estimate the values, uh, actually estimates the values of PGA and PGV using uh, some correlation that they are actually using. So you can also search that in the internet of USGS on the, um, how the shake map calculates the, uh, uh, the values of PGA, the contours, and they are also using GMPEs, and you, can, you will notice in that uh, part what GMPEs they have used in order to estimate these values. So thank you for watching, and I hope uh, you will find this tool very uh, important and useful. Thank you very much.